right, so next, before, last topic for the night is do you have social media rules for your relationship? We sprinkled on this in our own uh, personal chat, so. So, Keisha, would you like to start it off with um, when you're in a relationship, like you could talk previous and you could talk current, like going into like your marriage, will you have social media rules? Like Instagram, most most definitely like Facebook. Like, are you saying I, you don't need to do this because you a married man? You know, like, is there like bam, 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 bam? Uh, if I'm understanding that correctly, no. Okay. And the reason why I say that is because you you can I mean let's just use Facebook because that's what I mainly have. I have Facebook right a lot of people yeah so Facebook like people be getting mad so you like their picture or you heart their picture or you did this or you did like it's just a reaction like let's be serious here. I mean, and I hear a lot of people say, oh, well, if they looking at the picture to react to it, that's just how it starts. No, looking is not how it starts. I'm I'm sorry. That's just me. Everybody won't agree. Everybody don't go with this. But looking is looking. I mean, I don't care what you say, how you say it. Looking is looking. It does. My problem is when physical stuff starts to happen, physical contact come through. That's when my problem is. But as far as you reacting, commenting, but to, because to be honest with you, half the stuff that's on Facebook and uh, ain't real. Half these people ain't happy. Half these people don't have no happy home. Half these people ain't got this, don't have that. Half these people are struggling and just not going to show you. Half these people, like, Half of the what is is what it is, and I know I know a young a uh, young guy I know a young guy that he's uh, my thing is he said he doesn't like a female with makeup. Now nothing against y'all two, nothing against y'all two, but I'm gonna tell you why. You mute Ashley. I'm gonna tell you. On you on mute why. Ashley, and I'm gonna take offense. Keep the I don't no, care. Take offense. Cause let me let me tell you because I asked that same question. He said he he doesn't like a female with makeup, but if you're gonna wear makeup, not too much. Okay, because yeah. he feel as if if you have a lot of makeup on, you're hiding something. You're and he wants no. natural beauty. But but no. I must say I must say I used to try to figure out why fe- a lot of females were wearing makeup, Ashley. Well, they don't know who this is, but we got a classmate that okay. I saw why they wear makeup. And I said, wow, okay. Now, me, I didn't think it was bad, but they did. And so I said, okay, so some people are wearing makeup to cover up some stuff. Some people are wearing makeup to make us even skin tone. Okay. Some people are wearing makeup because of pimples or freckles or Whatever the case may be, or to just enhance that stuff because that's what right. they love. That's their thing. But I mean, I'm just saying that was just his preference. Right. But right. the thing of it is, like him liking her video, her, him liking her picture, and she got on all the makeup and this and, that and the other. At the end of the day, as long as you're here, I don't have a problem. You can like it all day long because mm-hmm. I guarantee you, if Aquaman cut down my timeline, I'm definitely going to heart that right there. Hey, y'all know I love Mr. Aquaman. So I'm just saying. So I mean, looking is just looking. I don't okay, care. So, okay, so what what if it goes into the it went from the heart, like, oh, bless her heart, you know. Cause see, that's probably how you looking at a heart hit you. Like, oh bless her. Oh, that's cute. <sighs> I I I just I don't know. But what what if you see them in the inbox? Like, cause you know, women go from Instead of just letting it be the heart or that man liking it, she'll be like, she'll go over, she prancing over into the inbox and saying, hey, thank you for the heart. Thank you for the light. You're just trying to start a conversation with my husband. I don't know well, anybody who, I don't know anybody who says thanks for the light. Oh, well, you that like was somebody, in what, 2006. You know? Way back when Facebook started, I don't know anybody back. who says that. Yeah, but, but, like, they, but you still have. I'm gonna get to my point when y'all done. 
And there's some people that says thank you for accepting my friend request and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But my own my my only thing is, what is your response? What for when you say um? Are you, you saying what, what's your what's your dude response? Right. What is your response? So your response could be, oh, you're welcome, and keep it moving. Uh, but if the response is to keep going to say, well, you know, well, you don't say, well, you do know I'm married, right? Or, you know, I was just... They know you married because they got it on Facebook. And all that stuff. Sometimes, but like all that, I mean, that's, that's what I'll I watch, though. I, I I would see as far as, as that. But I'm going to... I'm gonna have the trust in him. That that's that's the only way to it. I get I start you with a little bit of trust, and you either gain some more trust or lose what you got. Right, right, right. And number one or two things that can happen is either you gain or you lose. But I just don't. I'm not big on the because you hard stuff. I'm definitely not big on social media because uh, when I when I was in a relationship, I I never changed it. It's the relationship status still. Yeah, I, was, I never that, did a profile picture. I ne- I just didn't do it. And be, reason being, I'm like, well, I do want to make sure. I want to know if they're going to be here. Now, I might do it once I'm married. But before then, I'm not going to do it because I just don't want to be one of the ones that keep changing. I have to keep changing. Yeah, I, yeah, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't. Mm. I'll let Courtney go. Go ahead, Courtney. <laughs> um, well, Whitney, I don't shoot my shot, but... <laughs> But when I say like don't nobody do that, I think that was missed. Uh, I think that was uh y'all don't understand what I was saying. I was saying like people don't do that. So when they do that, they are just looking for conversation. You know what I mean? Like that's not like a norm. You know how like people oh, okay. post all the time. They're purposely doing that. They're yeah, exactly. That's when I when I said don't nobody do that. I meant like no one does that without trying to start a conversation. That's what I meant by that. Like you know how the poke thing was the thing, but you would get poked get by everybody. You poke. get poked by your aunt, yeah, I was going to do the poke thing. Like that. And then slowly but surely, when nobody was poking no more, the people that were poke are the people that was trying to slide into your DMs. They're like, hey, how you doing? So Uh-oh. like when people um. Yeah. When people like, cause I there there's been some guys who are like, thank you for accepting my friend request. And in my mind, I I never respond to those because I'm like, I just hit a button. Like, calm down. Okay, okay. So hold up, let's let's do a survey. Is that men that say that, or men and women that say that? Or is this usually only guys that say that? I mean, I don't get hit on by women. In, but we're, well, we're talking about I get hit on by you? drunk white women in the bars, but I don't get hit on. I don't get hit on by women in my thing. But it's usually when a guy's like, "Thank you for my, thank you for uh, for accepting my request." Accepting my request, they're usually that's the beginning. He's trying to thing. start a conversation. Exactly. So I, I never respond to it because I'm like, all I did was hit a button. You ain't got to do all that. Well, you know, um, I started getting more um attention per se uh during the COVID situation so I don't know if it's because men been bored <laughs> or whatever but um it was I got the where are you from like because of stories or whatever there's like where are you from and I'm like I'm born and raised in Maryland all my life I just ain't been outside on the porch like that you know but um My thoughts and views on social media relationships. <laughs> Over overall, I honestly don't want my guy on it. To be honest with you, and that's not because of like some insecurities or jealous, but I just feel like a lot of guys that I talk to, what Keisha like to say, real men, <laughs> they don't be on social media. Like they don't be on this internet stuff because they. Got they working 12 to 16 hours, you know. Uh they got they a provider, they they mostly paying all the bills, you know, like they just got shit to do other than be on social media because they consider that a woman thing, it's a gossiping thing. It damn sure is a messy thing. Now back in 26, 2006, when I think when I first got on, on Facebook, my space don't count because it ain't here no more. But when I first got on Facebook, like it was just for college students. Like, it was just a, oh, I hadn't seen them since high school. You know, it was boring back then, but it was it was like some LinkedIn type stuff, you know, more like a resume. But now it's popular. Like, now it's like exciting. It's for someone like me who's now, 
in the club or getting lit or hey, hey. Like, I'll just be laying in my bed or just, I'm like, damn, they, they fighting again. She pregnant again. He locked up again. You know, it is mess, you know, because they don't let everybody in. It's like the club. They ain't checking. Nobody at the damn door no more. It used to be, you used to have to have a degree. It was like a country club. Facebook was like a country club. Like you had to have a college membership to get in. Now it's just everybody gets to get in. It's the hole in the wall, the hood spot. So I, if I find a man that does not have social media, there's two things. Because I'm a realistic woman. One, he's probably living a double life and he don't want to get caught the fuck up. You know, because women, we first thing we do, what you say your name was again? Enter, you know. We go look for, even if he don't have one, what happens is he maybe was at a cookout or uh, at a car show, you know, during the summertime, somebody took a picture of him and then they typed his name in. So at least you, he tagged in something. But, and if he don't have a social media at all, like that's amazing to me. Like I, low-key thinking like under the witness protection program or something like, I'm like, who doesn't have Facebook? Even if you're just doing it to just like look. To be nosy, but real men, they don't give a damn about being nosy or messy. Like they like to read the newspaper, they like the sports, they like ESPN, they like CNN. They like, I mean, they got bills. They but they, men talk about that on social media. I'd be so confused. You know what? I'm, I'd be like, how do you get links for social media? And you always click on the links to the social media. You might as well just get your social media. I said, just you. I was telling guys, like, just use it just to look. You know, you don't have to, like, update a status or, you know. But that's just my preference. Like, um, so I prefer guys that actually don't have social media. And as far as, like, my relationship, even when I get in one or I, I am in one, um, I do not upload guys. I don't. I don't. I just don't do that. So if I... I'm in a relationship. I'm not changing my status. When I get married, I'm not changing my status. I might, I may change my my marriage status, but I'm not tagging my husband. You know, so y'all could go click on his profile, and then all of a sudden, you little bald head bitches, uh, be sending him a friend request. That's another thing, Courtney. They be sending boyfriends friend requests and stuff. I'm like, who do that? But that's the that's the <clears throat> we're clashing on this right here. That's the thing. You could send him a friend request all day. No. That's at that point, that's no longer you can't blame the woman. Like, okay, so if a woman is sending your man a friend request, you're gonna get mad at her for sending him a friend request, or you're gonna get mad at him for accepting it? Uh both. But he's gonna no. get it even, he's gonna get <laughs> no, it even that woman because, doesn't owe you anything. No, I know that, but I'm just this you asked me a question, I'm gonna answer it. I'm mad at her because first off, we're just Facebook friends. Like, if you're not in my inner circle, there's no reason for you to even send him a, a friend request. Okay, and that may be true, but at the end of the day, are you going to get mad at her who does not owe you not one thing because y'all don't even know each other like that? Exactly. She does not owe you nothing. So you're going right. to get mad at her for sending him a friend request, but you oh. he's accepting it and he that's don't know her? That's what I'm saying. I'm getting and mad he's at looking her. at the mutual friends and like, you're the only one and he's like, oh, well, I'm just going to accept it. Never now, heard you talk about this girl now, a day in his life. That doesn't make sense to me. I'm sorry. Now, now when you update your status, I don't like the girls that you you update like you're in a relationship or you got engaged. And then you barely even talk to that girl anyway, other than some social media shit. And then we can talk about, so, oh, our next topic, social media etiquette. Meaning y'all are Facebook friends, our Instagram friends. You see them out in public. You're supposed to speak. You're supposed to be like, hey, how you doing? He ain't got to have no conversation. But you, hey, how are you? Like, I do that all the time. Like, if I'm, like, not zoned in and focused, you know, I do that all the time. But, yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to feel some type of way about her. This stranger sending my boyfriend or my hu my husband, because that's the only way I would update, you know, but I'm not putting him up there. But, yeah, I would be upset. But, of course, the the anger and the words and the action is going to him. Because I'm going to be like, so how you, uh, how you but know, uh. There's literally no point in getting upset at her, though, if you don't know her. 
it's not upset like I'm, hey, why you sent my, no, not But that. I'm saying just, like, even the second thought of like, oh, she's shady for that. Like, Courtney, realistically, we all do that shit. We all look at something on our timeline and be like, crazy. And then we just, we keep going. So that's what I mean by that. I'm not saying like, I'm, saying, I'm taking energy to give to her and be like, why was she? Da, da, da. No, I'm just be like, look at this bitch. Anyway, and I'm going to him. But I'm going to, realistically, as a human being, I'm going to say, why would she send him a friend request? No, I get I that part. But I'm saying, like, to even put any, like, I'm not going to tag my man in this because of the possibility that this shady person might add them. I think that's crazy. Oh, that's what you're saying. Oh, I'm not tagging. I don't tag men, period. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not saying, like, you shouldn't either. Because, I mean, like, my next relationship, I don't plan on even acknowledging him on social media until at like all. six months in. As you should not. It's correct. At least six months in. And, and at least to the point where I think that like just going somewhere, you know, type of thing. But like, I wouldn't like say if I got married, I would, I still wouldn't not tag him and stuff just for the thought of some shady bitch on my page. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I, yeah I, add I, him. Yeah. It, now, let, okay, well, I, I see what you're saying now. So let me clarify. If I was the type of female or social media user that did not, that was an avid, oh, we're here, oh, we're there, we're, you know, just always posting pictures like that, oh, yeah, I don't give a fuck about that. Now, I'm still going to be like, look at this bitch sending him a friend request, and then I'm still taking the energy to him. Yeah, that. But I will never have to worry about that because I don't post guys, period. It's my page. I don't post guys. I don't post my men. Plural, more than one. Well, really? um, did we before I say <laughs> wait before I say what uh my boundaries are with social media? Did we want to read some of the comments? Sure. Yeah, there's a few of them. Yeah, we got a few. Keisha, you want to read some? Uh, I can. Let me see. Read, read down to where Stefan said. Uh, I'd be lurking social media be funny. Yeah, like, yeah, like, you don't have to always update your status or comment on somebody's stuff or hard or like somebody's picture. You just go and look like what I just said with Courtney. You could just be like, oh, that's crazy. Keep scrolling. Oh, she tripping. Oh, damn, he locked up again. Oh, you know, you just keep lurk, you know? You want to go ahead, Courtney? And I'll, I'll read after that. Okay. And then uh, Whitney said, I love when it's like that, too. Um, I'm assuming she was referring to something that Ashley was saying, but I don't know what exactly. Uh, Damien said, I don't know. Educators work only eight hours uh, off. Wait. Educators only work eight hours off on the weekends, holidays, and the whole summer. I got plenty of time for Facebook. <laughs> Um, oh, right, so hold on. Is he saying that to say like he's a real man? Like, was that pertaining to? I think I said, he's saying because you were like, because you were saying a real man works all these hours and stuff yeah. like that. So I think what what it sounded like you were saying a real man doesn't have time for Facebook, and so he's saying that like he got a real job, but there's free time there, so why can't he be on Facebook? Like, I'm just saying. Survey says like a lot of men don't be on Facebook. Like, a lot of serious men that's like, oh, you should do this. Like, you know, like, like the kind of men that, that be talking to Keisha that are that be, like, older men, you know. There's run. a lot of older men on Facebook. That's most yeah, of the no, people no, that hit on me. No, I was just about to say those are the creepy <laughs> older guys. The, the that's what I'm, like, I get what you're saying, but to say that, like, a real man doesn't that's be on why social I media. did quotations because we know that that's not real. Okay. I mean, but I think, well, when you, we know that, that we're just quoting like real men, oh, but okay, like so we, people yeah, okay. watching are saying that you're saying that that's, you know, a okay, real so man. You got, yeah, you guys, uh, I guess I need to do like a a, a, a legend down at the a bottom. Disclaimer. Yeah, air quotes mean it's false. It's just like public opinion. You know, it's not actual factual. It's not, you know. It's not right, because I mean, most of the time, I don't really post a lot, in my opinion. I I might, I like Share. post the pictures and stuff, but for the most part, I'm lurking on Facebook. I'm just being in everybody's business. You right. know what I mean? Especially since, like you were saying earlier, they put it out there. I'm right. being I business. post 
I matter of fact, that's why I, that's why I know I like Whitney. I be on her shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm but, definitely uh, and I, I I look. I don't go looking. I don't go lurking. It just pops up on my timeline. But I if I see something happening in the midst, so I'm gonna go search. Like I was telling you about that whole whoever was in the argument, and I was like, "Don't call no names." Yeah, yeah. Let me go on that page, and I was going through all. Yeah. Um, what's it called? Uh, Whitney said. Oh wait, no, Stefan. Who? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Whitney said you hitting on something tonight, Ash. And then Stefan said, uh, nah, I don't know what kind of woman think like that. I don't know what he's talking about because we done went past it. Damon said, I love all that stuff and all that stuff on Facebook. I, I saw that when that popped up. He was talking about like sports and all that stuff when that when that conversation had popped up. Right. And Whitney said, I actually kind of prefer that too. Folks be ready to research him so bad. They do. They do. They do. Um, so, uh, oh, I'm gonna let you finish. Go ahead. Oh, uh, Damien said, uh, real man can't even see y'all live because they don't have a Facebook ash. And then he was laughing. He was being funny. Uh, we, I, I, uh, I'll be able to let you know because I know a real man. I sent him the link. And so he's going to let me know whether or not. Matter of fact, keep, keep reading comments. Let me text this real man. Let me see. If okay. <laughs> um, my sister Cordelia said, be careful with that too, because he can also deny that y'all together to another female because you're not even on his FB. Thank you. That's why I, that's why I said the first option was who doesn't have a social media? And so that's, that's why I said he's probably thing. living a double life, you know, and then that's when you got to do your own research. You got to get, get your girl group together, AKA your destiny's child. And y'all got to do your little research. You be like, okay, you hit this corner. You, I mean, you got to, because we ain't trying to get played. No, literally, I was, my sis Charlena, I was literally telling her about somebody the when I last time I was in South Carolina, and I just said his name. I didn't even say his last name. I walked out the room, used the bathroom, came to the back, um, and she, li I think I told y'all about this, but she literally had found his page knew his mama name and she's like is his mama name da, da, da. and I was like I don't know what his mama name is but that's him <laughs> um well, that was, said that's this. a unique name as well now. if it was huh. just like a David you know you'd be like it'd be like a hundred Davids he does have a unique name but right Courtney. I don't know him anymore so I don't know what that's about um F, F that F D N. right uh Whitney said uh this random, but I saw you at the Fox Trot one year, Ash, and wanted to speak because we were FB friends, but I didn't feel you were approachable. Oh! You know what? Was that pre-therapy? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was before therapy, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm like so cool, you know. But I will say I I'm real cool. Like I, I think I've always been cool. You know, I, I know I'm sassy, have a little smart, sassy mouth, but um, when I'm usually out and about, like, I'm, like, focused. Like, I'm, like, let me go get, because I'm, like, shopping for my business. Like, let me go get this, 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 this. Like, I'm on the timeline, but, like, whenever people see me, please speak. You know, but just don't ask me about food, because it's COVID. I'm not even cooking right now, other than making, like, sauces and stuff. But and then Keista said, she's so mannish. <laughs> you are. Well, at that time, And that's really why I'm getting married well. before Keista. Hey, I just want to be able to be there. I'm changing, Keisha. Like, you see, I wear makeup now. Like, <laughs> I'm drawing on eyebrows. But eyebrow. she, but she did say Fox Trot one year. She didn't say last year. Oh, I, you, you off, were I really vanished during that time. You were really oh. hardcore. <laughs> Jay Taffy Davis. He said, "Post that man if you don't want to waste your time." That's why I'm that not makes sense. Him. Honestly, <laughs> no, that makes sense. No, no, this the thing. No. But the, but the, okay, Jay, okay, Taffy, how does that work if he's not local? Like it wouldn't, it wouldn't. But then again, we do have Facebook friends from all over because you can, I can click on Keith's page, and I will keep clicking. I, I started out in in Wauhees, South Carolina, and end up all the way in freaking Aruba because I'm looking at one of her Facebook friends who got a Facebook friend who got a Facebook friend. They just went on a vacation and now I'm in Aruba. I started out in Wahi, now I'm in Aruba. So I said that to say, I was going to say, well, it defeats the purpose of posting him because don't nobody in Marion or Columbia know him because he's upstate South Carolina. 
But then again, somebody yeah, would be I'm like, see, I wanted to start something. They had this thing called, um, it's this website called Ashley something. I forgot. But basically, it's a website where uh, if you're in a relationship, married or whatever, it's a, a comfort zone where you can go meet people who already know that you're married, right? Kind of like that seeking arrangement thing that you was talking about, Courtney. But it's yeah, I know arrangement. what you're talking about. Um, but okay. Anyway, so I wanted to start something—a website where us women, when we start dating a guy, or even just a Facebook group, where you go ahead and upload the picture. You upload the picture and everything he told you, like he's from. Charleston, he's six four. He don't have no kids. He's a police officer. He has his own place. He has a car. And so you be like, you post him, and then the girls be like, that ain't nobody but raggedy ass Dante. You know, he got four kids. He ain't got no car. He just got out. Like, we need to do background checks on these guys because they just be lying to us. They just. And then, but you know what? What a what a couple guys told me when I suggested that they said, don't do that because. Women that are bitter, like their exes, are the women that they don't want to wipe up, or it was just a one night stand that they can go up there and say, That's just Dante, he's lying. Da, da, da. And then, of course, we'll believe it, you know. So, either way, you're gonna have to do your own research, but I ain't posting no man. That's, I'm sorry, that's very true. Um, I disagree with Jay because a man's gonna waste my time if that's his plan, you know Seriously. what I mean? It, it, and that's why I always like when we were getting back on the social media thing what we were talking about that's why I just I disagree with like not having social media or doing or necessarily boundaries should I say about what you can and cannot like and everything else like that because you're gonna do it whether you're on social media or not like like what Keisha said with the looking thing like here's the thing with me and my ex or something like that a girl would walk we would be in a restaurant a girl would walk in she got a big old booty right and me, I am, I'm not gay because I don't like pastrami, but I, I can find the beauty and I am attracted to the female body, right? So if something like that walks in, my eyes go to it. I see it. And I'd be like, you was looking at her butt, wasn't you? And he'd be like, no, no, I wasn't doing that. Yes, she was because I was. So if I say it, I know you did. Right. No, don't you know lie. I mean? Don't lie about the ass. Like, exactly. And so if you are going to like a picture in life, you're definitely going to stare at it if it's walking by you. You're going to do it irregardless. Right. Right. But I, the reason, I'm going to tell y'all why I agree with Jay. And the only reason why I agree with Jay is because it about, has posting, to be, about posting the guy picture, right? Well, actually, I didn't even post their picture. I just tagged their name in a post. And they called me immediately and they said, why did you put that up there? Take that down. Right there was a sign like, boom, you're hiding something. Something else is going on. And actually, in due time, it all came out. So that's why I said I can agree with you. He's like, he's like, just go ahead and post. Well, you don't have to post it immediately. But if it's in a few weeks or something like that, and you just even tag their name in something, and they're hiding something, or, or they're not trying to be who they are to you or telling you and stuff like that, then they immediately flip to be like, uh-uh, you need to take that down. So my thing is, if you're trying to pursue me or you're trying to be with me, why do I have to take it down? That's still so, it because maybe they just, I don't know, if y'all no, have never interacted me. before, right, on social media, if y'all have never interacted before and then all of a sudden, like, like say y'all have mutual friends and y'all have never tagged each other or nothing like that, maybe y'all have just met and then you start tagging them and stuff like that, People are going to realize, like, I didn't even know them two know each other. That's and so, the and then me personally, me. I'm a private person. I don't me want too. everyone knowing my business. So if we've never interacted on social media, but we have a lot of mutual friends, and then all of a sudden you're popping up and tagging me and stuff like that, people are going to notice that. I don't need everybody in the world to know that I might be starting something with this person. But that's not me hiding anything. I could be telling them the truth about everything that I'm doing, but I don't want the I don't want everyone to know on my timeline. That's actually no, but the what, truth. But what they were tagged in though was nothing to flip over. It was a thank you. I, I I mean maybe that situation, yeah, that probably did that. I'm just saying if we're talking about in general, that's not always what that means. Well, I tell you one thing. These guys are sneaky because. I tried some, I tried some 
Instagram thought stuff. I did. And I let a guy drove me out, not flew me out. So, you know, I went on a vacation that was paid for. Do you know my I had rules in place? And first off, I don't be social media with guys. I don't be social media friends with guys like this, you know. But I told him the rules. I said, don't post me. Don't take no pictures of me. Don't do none of that. Do you know this sneaky motherfucker? He did. That's what he did. Oh, my God. And I found out months later. I was so mad. Because y'all know in the last episode, I said, I don't do like. Uh, with sexting, I don't do videos, I don't do pictures, I don't because I have a business, and then also, aside from the business, I don't never want a, a guy one up in me saying, Oh, yeah, like when we don't talk no more, oh, yeah, be and then upload my shit, you know what I'm saying, embarrassing me, you know. This motherfucker snuck into pictures of me, and I was like, Oh my god, so I'm considering calling my attorney. You know, like, what can we do about this? Can we confiscate his phone or whatever? But I was just like, God, when did guys, real men, start doing bitch shit? Like, what? I swear. And then I know when he did it. I remember when he did it. Because I was, I was trying, I, I said, help me get in this swimsuit. <laughs> I was trying to squeeze into a swimsuit. And he was pissing me off because he wasn't doing it right. You know how women, when we got to squeeze and stuff, we got to... <laughs> You know, we got to take a couple breaths and shit. And he wasn't doing it right. And so I was like, just get off of me. And I remember him going, like, checking his phone. And I swear to God, that mother, he, when he was doing his phone like this, this nigga was, I was like, you dirty motherfucker. That's going to cost you extra. I need another trip. And we locking phones up this time. But I swear to God, if he posts me, I swear to God. First off, I'll be so embarrassed. But I don't like that social media stuff. Like, I don't post men on social media. I per I post my business. A lot of it be comical. A lot of it be exaggerated. Well, not even exaggerated, because y'all be thinking I be exaggerating about shit, but it really do be my real life happening. You know, it's just funny as fuck, you know. But um, yeah, I don't I don't post men on social media. Even when I get married, you know, Courtney and Kiss, I'm actually kind of considering like. I don't want people bringing their phones for my wedding. Okay, okay, Beyonce, whatever you want. Just make sure I'm a bridesmaid. Oh, okay, okay. I thought, but I mean, you're going to have the opportunity because we're going to have like the selfie booths. You're going to like, I'm going to have different photographers. Like you're going to be able to take pictures and stuff, you know, and then just, I, I don't know. I, I, don't know. I, don't I, know, I get that. Me. I just, hmm. when it comes to social media and relationships, I just don't see there shouldn't be like that many of course i don't want you in somebody's dms asking them about stupid stuff just to start a conversation i don't think nobody wants that but i also don't want you trying to start random conversations with women just because of the heck of it because you in a store you know what i mean it's yeah. like to me i feel like people take social media too seriously like oh like because you know some women they'll be like uh i gotta uh not track but like monitor my man's social media because he likes to you know being girls dms or something like that and it's like I'm you can take away his social media that. and do that in real life if a cheater is going to cheat irregardless which brings me to jay talking about you asking for trouble if you are a mature person you don't need to be posted for me to prove something you with me and we we together we you know what i mean like i just that just doesn't make sense to me to where social media aligns with your exclusivity exclusivity is that a word yes it is I your exclusivity or your feelings or you know like i'm not equating I that to social media i don't need to be posted on your timeline or on your stories every day all day and stuff like that for me to be like oh well he's hiding me no i'm just not posted as long as i know what we got going on in actual real life is cool right, right. I'll i'm not gonna trip off of it all right, so basically that wraps up the uh, social media posting. Um, we all said our opinions. Um, he still got to go to work tomorrow. I don't know what Courtney got to do, but I was sexting while I was. I gotta work too. Okay, well you going to work too? Well, all right then. Uh, it was it was 
lovely, you guys. I gotta go. You try it. <laughs> you know you got a job. So it was nice. Um, uh, you know. Oh, we'll probably do like a a Christmas Eve episode. I don't think we do it on Christmas because people are gonna be doing stuff on Christmas. But I think Christmas Eve around like the same time would be appropriate. You know. Um. Y'all just let me know what y'all want to do. Um, I want to be, be I want to be festive. I want to be festive. I want to like if you got like a Christmas sweater, you got, you know. Just... I don't have no Christmas stuff. Mark right, Courtney, you really are. You, so you're like the meme where the bougie aunt was like, uh, you see those memes where the Christmas of uh, morning, Christmas dinner. They got like the different aunties, uh, the one who orders off of Amazon, the one who just give everybody $20, the one who just do the cash app, the one who 